This is the Source and Confluence from Tenderfoot Electronics. Source is an analog VCO and LFO, and the expander Confluence, which ships with the module, is a two-channel wave shape mixer, and this is a really interesting idea. The way it works is that the five available outputs and an additional noise output each have their own independent volume controls and you can select whether to send them to channel A or channel B with the corresponding switches. We have a blend control down here and if I take it all the way to the right then we're hearing just the noise and a sawtooth And over to the left, we have a sub oscillator and a square wave. We also have a mix CV, and this can be a very creative tool, especially in the LFO mode. On the oscillator, we have a nice big chunky octave switch. This can be a really great performance tool. The sub oscillator has three different flavors, one octave below, two octaves below at 25% and two octaves below. pulse width modulation, hard and soft sync, and finally exponential and linear FM. So there's a really is a lot going on here. Now let's check out some patches. patch my main sound source is the sub oscillator and I'm using a gate from PAMS here to modulate the mix CV with only the noise on channel B and that's what's creating this rhythm have the pulse width modulation all the way to the left which is actually total silence and so you won't hear the square wave until I activate the modulation which is channel 1 of maths. I was bringing in beads now and again And the other effect was this really cosmic sounding delay, which is from Echo and Feed, which is also from Tenderfoot Electronics. And it has a send and return, which I've got going into the UVCF filter.
this batch I'm using the sync input with the variable waveform generator as my master oscillator and the source as the slave. And I'm using the individual A and B outputs here to create a stereo oscillator by panning the two outputs left and right in the instro carn. Take a closer listen to that. On the left side I have the sub oscillator and a little bit of sawtooth and on the right I have the square with a little bit of noise. And I have a sample and hold gate from PAMS going into the dual dagger and the exponential FM and that's what's creating these really sort of rich harmonics as I bring the FM amount up. And because it's been synced to this oscillator the harmonics are really musical. If you'd like to know more about the source and confluence then I'll leave a link to the Tenderfoot Electronics website in the description or alternatively you could head on over to signalsound.com Thank you for watching Thank you.